BMW expands their portfolio to go up against the Merc CLS. An idiot drunk driver hits the worst possible target ever. An NSX concept is confirmed for Detroit. And do you have a Ford Fusion or Mercury Milan? Because your wheels may fall off. Plus, we got Commenter of the Week. Also, stay tuned for a revealing new study that says a common household product you may have right next to you at this very moment could kill you. We'll tell you what it is at 10 p.m. I'm Derek D. And this is Fastlane Daily. AK, how long did it take you to shoot that squirrel video? Three days to stalk him and shoot him. In the GoPro? No, I shot with the red camera, Derek D. Oh, the red. <laughs> the segment that started nearly a decade ago by Mercedes-Benz finally has competition from BMW. I'd like to welcome everybody to the new BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe. Bang! And by welcome, I mean look at it in the corner box. BMW's answer to the four-door coupe model range. It's going to compete directly with the likes of the CLS and A7. The new Sixer is basically an extended version of the two-door coupe, 4.4 inches longer to be exact, Chris. That's what she said. Yes, indeed. Even with all the same options and engines, the 650i uses the twin-turbo 4.4 liter V8 with 443 horsepower, while the 640i gets a turbocharged 3 liter inline six with 315 horsepower, both electronically limited 255 miles per hour. Not much else to say, we like the way it looks. There will be an all-wheel drive version as well. Oh, and BMW screwed up in their press kit by actually providing proof that an M version is on the way. They leaked a photo of a door sill with the M badge on it, but honestly, I think it was done on purpose for exactly the reason to create buzz. This will be an awesome M car though. What M car isn't? What M car isn't awesome is what I'm saying. And that's the poll question of the day. In your opinion, what was the worst BMW M-badged vehicle? Leave your comments below, as if you could leave those comments anywhere else. You know what, go ahead and cite, send in a handwritten letter. What? No. Well, they don't have an address anyway. Send it to New York City. We'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> now to a story that should remind you that if you decided to drive drunk, you are a f***ing moron, to put it plainly. A 21-year-old idiot from North Carolina rear-ended a mobile alcohol testing lab at a drunk driving checkpoint in Newton, North Carolina. This is Monday, not Dumbass Tuesday, right? Yeah. All right, just checking. Douglas Southard struck the mobile lab at about 45 miles per hour in his 89 Camaro this past Sunday. I guarantee this dude has a mullet. No one in the mobile lab was hurt, while the driver was listed in stable condition at the local hospital. No word on any additional charges outside of the DUI, but we suspect the judge will not be easy on him for nearly killing eight people. Driving drunk and crashing into a mobile alcohol testing lab, huh? I swear, you really just can't write this shit any better. Like, that just has to happen. It's insane. And Acura has officially announced that there will be an NSX concept at the 2012 Detroit Auto Show next month, according to a recent press release from the company. It's looking to rival the Nissan GTR, and we've reported before that Honda, Acura, had an NSX slated for two years ago, but scrapped plans due to the project's inability to hit key milestones in performance and price. You know, I thought NSX would stand for something really cool, like uh, Neurological Super X, but it literally just means new sports car, experimental. Very lame sauce. They actually capitalized the X in experimental. NSX, new sports car? Really, that's the name you're going for? Also for Detroit, Honda says an Accord Coupe is coming. Great. And finally, Ford is recalling 130,000 Fusion and Mercury Milan models due to concerns of wheel stud cracks that could cause wheels to fall off. The recall consists of 2012 and 2011 Ford Fusion and Mercury Milan models with the 17-inch steel wheels. Not good. Kind of gives new meaning to the Dr. Dre song where Nate Dogg's like, we gon' rock it till the wheels fall off. So if you're listening to that song and they fall off... You're not, in a Ford Fusion, right? Not a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, you're in a Ford Fusion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys know what time it is. <clears throat> yes, you know, I can. Derek D, I was thinking that time really can't be evaluated in a straight line continuum. It's, it's, it's more of a subjective analog. <laughs> you're right. Comment, our show, yeah, commenter of the week. 
Say it with me, guys. Comments. 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 Terrible. Now, there was a plethora of comments regarding last week's Commenter of the Week and how we, quote, don't talk about regular cars enough. Well, commenter Brian Vio 725 pretty much sums it all up pretty well. He said, to all those cars we can afford people, go look at your girlfriend and then go check out a Playboy. And go look at what's parked in your garage and then check out what's parked in Leno's garage. It's the creme de la creme of car news. It's fast lane frickin' daily. Not on the far right lane five miles under the posted limit daily. The exotics and million dollar rides are what's hot. Like the hump day girl of the week. Nice work, FLD. Keep those standards high. Well, Brian VO725, I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, maybe I could have. But still, you are right, good sir. We are fast lane freaking daily. We give you the car news fast and fresh every day. Three days. But that may change soon. Ah, anyway, great comment there, guy. We'll be getting some FLD swag, so look out for that YouTube email. Brian Vio. Do you do voiceovers? Brian voiceover? 75? I don't know. Think of the trap we got if we just talked about plain cars. We plain wouldn't cars. exist. I know, we would talk about what? Corollas, old Kia Spectras. Chevy uh, Aveo. Chevy Aveos. Our views would be right up there with uh, everyone. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands of views. Terrible. Anyway, that's it for Fast and Daily today. I'm Derek D. How about those Giants, AK? All right. How about those Jets, Derek D? All right, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right.